Hi Church and welcome back to day two of our Barmy Bible Stories devotional series. My name is Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church and we are looking at the story of Paul and Eutychus in a nutshell in Acts 20 verse 7 to 11. Read it, read it yourselves. But we see that Paul is preaching and he's preaching and he's preaching. The Bible says that he goes on and on. And in the third story window is a young boy called Eutychus and he falls into a deep sleep, falls from the window and dies. Paul jumps up. He stops. That's what we heard yesterday in a crisis. Stop. And he throws himself on the young boy and says, don't be alarmed. He is alive. This is day two of our devotional journey looking at Barmy Bible stories. The events and moments that seem implausible, incredible, mad, crazy, or a Marvel movie moment that actually happened in the Bible. They make us laugh, cry, and ask why. But what we know is that they happened, and God has a story of glory behind them, in them, and through them. This week, we're looking at the story of Eutychus, who fell asleep in a sermon. Yesterday, we looked at what to do in a crisis, and the first point was stop. The second step is a double whammy. Use your initiative and think outside the box. The Bible tells us that Paul went down to where Eutychus was. He took responsibility. He didn't look to blame anyone else or see who was to blame. Why has somebody lit all these candles comment we live in a culture that apportions blame and looks who to blame but the greatest thing is when someone takes responsibility in the middle of a crisis and says this is on me and i'll work out a solution this enables the second part of this step for us to think outside the box we take responsibility we use our initiative and then we think outside the box paul threw himself on the young man was there another option Why did Paul do this? We don't know. But what we do know is that it worked. Sometimes the miraculous is in the ridiculous. Audacious means to be bold, daring, dangerous, cheeky, and to be unrestrained by convention. Many times in the Bible, we see men and women of God faced with dead-end situations. And then seemingly, amazingly, God makes a way. What dead-end situation are you facing that God could have another perspective on which situation have you written off thinking there's no way through this ask god to help you think outside the box then trust him and do what he shows you to do step one stop step two a double whammy take initiative take responsibility and think outside the box these two things are what we can do in a crisis to see god move Have a great day. Love you, church. And I'll see you tomorrow for day three of Barmy Bible Stories.